Днес сме благословени да представим една от тези проникновени лекции озаглавена Будистки истории. Историята за Лагнагасая. Част 3 от 3 в Между учители и учениците. Изнесена на английски язик на 3 септември 2015 година във Франция. Even in the Buddha's lifetime. You heard some of the story, yeah? they slander the Buddha and even his cousin, you know, always try to compete with him and harm him and try to humiliate him in many ways. And he was a prince even, yeah? Mm. He's a prince and he just left everything to, to, to went out to become just a monk, after enlightenment, before enlightenment and after enlightenment. What can a prince want, you know? He had everything he needs. And even then, people still doubt his sincerity. So many people attain enlightenment and so many miraculous things happen. People still doubt. And then human mind is so difficult to tame and to go through. Hmm? Hmm. So therefore, of course, somebody would not believe in what I said. Yeah? But maybe they think the Buddha saved them, then they recite the Buddha's name. It's good for them, okay? I'm not jealous. <laughs> Please recite all the Buddha's name as much as you want. Just say, remember one of the gods, when the woman was reciting the Buddha Sutra, and he stopped and listened, and he even called her sister, elder sister. Mm. And he told her to recite, to call his name also whenever he make offering to the Buddha. Therefore, more, more merit to her, more strong, more strength. Yeah, it's like that. And he was just a, you know, not very high level God for you, the best already. Understand? Yeah, even better than that, yeah? So they will help you to pass through, to go to your goal, okay? Mm. That's the best you can do mm? in human life. Mm. There's no need for you to go to the sixth or seventh level. This is a different world. It belongs to them. You belong in the five world. This is good enough. It's good. You just have to go home. Hmm? Your original home where you it's better, safer and happier forever. Forever. This is the thing. Hmm. Now you see me here. Every time you came, visited me, you say, Oh, You are so happy, yeah? You tell me all the time, I'm so happy seeing Master and stay here. It's like heaven. Wait until you go to fifth level. You will not know what to describe that. Understand? Even you go to second level or third level, if you really have enough merit to realize where you are, you feel so happy, happy. You didn't think of anything else. You will not think there's a better world. Or you never want to go anywhere else. So, but so if you go to the fifth level, that's the end. You never want anything anymore in your life or in next life, nothing. You feel this is it, my home. <laughs> you feel content, you feel happy forever. This is forever. Never suffer again. You see? Mm. Mm. And why do you feel like heaven here? Mm. There's nothing for you here, really. You see, our toilet keep breaking up, <laughs> keep broken. Yeah? Our water motor stop running all the time. <laughs> yeah, keep uh, uh, making pan. Yeah, making s- stop. Now you're still happy. Yeah? You eat only simple food. Yeah? and you sit on the floor. You sleep on a thin mattress with a blanket outside. Yeah? most people would think you crazy. <laughs> Yeah, you have house, you have husband, wife, children, a big house, a car, yeah, and a good mattress on the bed and aircon, and, uh, and you come here, sleep on the floor, and you say it's heaven. <laughs> <laughs> because of the freedom you feel, because of the loving feeling you feel, because of the uh, contentment you feel, it's just the happiness that you feel. You understand? Yes. Therefore, if you go to fifth level, it's also like that. But of course, you don't have to sit on the floor like this. <laughs> Whatever you want, 
is whatever you get. Yeah, mm. you do, will not even want anything because everything is there for you already. You see what I mean? It's already prepared away for you. Mm. You never want anything up there. Yeah, mm. just like here, you come here. Mm? You want nothing anymore, right? Except master touch my head, you know, <laughs> rub, <laughs> massage my wisdom eye. <laughs> yeah, like the wisdom eye need massage. <laughs> Does he tell you he need massage? No, oh, this uh, just like like that. Childish, you know, children wish. Otherwise, okay, but without you also happy, you know. But that would make you feel more complete. You come home and both of master touch me, you know. <laughs> And the dog shake my hand. Oh, very proud. <laughs> Otherwise, you feel like you want nothing, right? Here, every day you hear, you feel like you, you don't want nothing else. That's why you don't want to go home, but you must, yeah, because your visa expired. You have to go home. Yeah. Otherwise, you don't want nothing. You see, because of happiness. Because of feeling so free, feeling just happy. I don't know why you're happy, but you, you told me you're happy. Are you happy? Yes. You look like that. Yeah, you look like that. You don't want to go home. And that's the proof, right? <laughs> because at home, even in your home, sometimes you want to run away from home, no? Often, yeah? Even your children, sometimes you just want to, oh, I wish that I could be away for a while at least. No? You love your children, of course. But you don't always want to just stay there, hugging them forever. Sometimes you even want to leave, you know. I mean, just thinking even. Here you don't want to leave, nada. That is a problem, you see. <laughs> Too happy. But why? You see, why? This is happiness from inside. That is the happiness you will have all your life now and then in heaven. Never, it never go less. It will go more all the time only. And once you're in, in the fifth level, then you never want anything else. Even here, just seeing me here, hmm? sitting on the floor, eating two, two simple meals a day, sleeping outside on a thin mattress and sleeping back, and you are so happy you don't want to leave already. Imagine a fifth level where you have everything else, and your master also, <laughs> all the time. Understand? Yeah. The master will be everywhere. Hmm? This is just physical. On astral level, also master there, second level, third level, always there with you, for you, and for other people as well. Hmm? But more for the disciples, of course, because uh, there's an uh, affinity, you know, and ones initiate have to take care all the way. Hmm? Don't have to, but like to. It's like you have your children, you like to take care of them huh? until they grow up, no? Yeah. Well, yeah. this is it, you know. The, the true happiness and the true love is different from the mundane love. You never get tired of it. <laughs> you never get tired of it. Yeah? Even, even people look at you, sit on the floor and or sleep outside, they think you're crazy, of course. Because for them, happiness means big house, flashy car, you know, sleep in a big mattress, you know, with aircon and heater. Of course, we have that if we need. Eh? But even then, you know, you're just happy. Yeah, you're just happy. Yeah. This is real happiness. Yeah. yeah. Without any extra uh, help from outside or without any husband, wife hold your hand, nothing. Eh? <laughs> without children, without servants, without anything. Truly without anything. Yeah, you came here, you don't have anything. I mean, you have it. Whatever you have, you have. Yeah, I don't take anything from you. What I mean is you come here. You, you just live too simple, you know? Yeah. yeah, and you're happy, happy. This is because it's true. It's a real love, real happiness. Huh? Okay? <laughs> All right then. Mm -hmm. Okay. You men should be ready to go. Yes. 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 <笑>我自己我今天特别要弄早一点让你们早一点走平常我就九点十点十二点才做嗯<笑><笑> OK 那大家
，回去的话一路顺风 ，OK。谢谢。Today, today she told me she has to leave tonight. She cannot want to. She don't want to. 舍不得，英文不晓得怎么怎么讲。舍不得不晓，英文怎么讲？嗯，舍不得英文怎么讲？嗯，舍不得英文怎么讲？翻译一下。This is special Chinese, you know. 啊，舍不得走 ，mean you just have no heart to leave, you know. You have, you feel reluctant to leave, yeah, reluctant to leave. But reluctant in in English is so mild. It's not expressive enough like 舍不得 Hmm. But it's reluctant to leave. Meaning really. Tear himself away, you know. Don't want to leave at all, but have to because of visa. <laughs> I understand her feeling. I feel sorry for all of you. Whenever you leave, just like you take a part of me <laughs> away. But but this war is like that. There's not much I can do at the moment because the. It's already established, you know, different countries and different language, different law, different uh, trouble, different control, different all kind. Until one day the world become one world, then then we will have less trouble. Then you can stay as long as your situation allow you, you know, as long as your family allow you. I mean. Everything okay at home. You can stay as long as you want. I also wish that kind of day come. Then we will have a bigger space. You know, we maybe have a big. We go by the whole desert and everybody <laughs> dig a hole. Yeah, we no need to. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> all sit there until we die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, only desert nobody want. Yeah, or Siberia, you know. Oh, there you can have oh, thousand of hectares, you know, for maybe fifty euros. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. And all we do is just bring five sleeping bags. <laughs> yeah, and then snuggle in. <laughs> Five sleeping bags we do, you know, and then we all gather in one big tent, you know, put a fire in the middle. Everybody <laughs> enjoy. <laughs> Sister, are you are you alright? <laughs> Brother, are you feeling as I am feeling? <laughs> Yeah, we have a lot of choice, you know. <laughs> Either go to the desert, big one, Sahara or Gobi. Nobody wants them. <laughs> very little, very little inhabitants, or zero inhabitants, you know. And they're very friendly. I heard they leave food in their house and their door always open, in case some uh, travelers happen to pass by. Then they use their house just like you know, because in desert very difficult to find any shelter. So they always leave their house open, and some food always ready, food and drink for the desert travelers. This is, so we can go there, you know. We have food and drink ready all the time. <laughs> At least you know they're friendly. They'll be happy to see a lot of this kind of face coming, <laughs> smiling, hungry and thirsty. <laughs> can you show us your hospitality? <laughs> Yeah, we can buy big desert, you know. And then we dig deep in the ground. Everybody dig deep, about ten meters. Sit in there, cool. <laughs> Nobody want to check visa. What for? <laughs> oh, we go to Siberia. Some people already invite. Some people already invited me to Siberia. They said, "Oh, big land, master," and we very welcome everybody. <laughs> Yeah, I'm thinking about it. Who knows? Yeah, yeah, maybe good. We just find the corner that nobody ever want to go. Yeah, <laughs> and then uh, yeah, we'll be free forever. Mm. 
the Eskimo tradition before, you know, I don't know if they still do it. When you're older, and you cannot do much help for the family, become a burden. You just go out in the in the cold and sit there, and then die. Very simple, like that. Well, a long time ago, you know, Eskimo tradition, because they don't have much there. You know, they have to eat raw, raw fish, raw liver, raw flesh to survive. And then um, the woman had to use their teeth. I told you already before, I think, to to chew the leather from the animal that they hunted, chew it soft, 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 so that they can make clothes to wear, because they survive on that. There's no clothes factory over there, nothing. Oh. And then, so therefore, their teeth gone bad very quickly. Mm. So after they are older and no use, the teeth are fall off, then they go out and die. Don't want burden family. Just normal for them, yeah. Nowadays they have everything already, don't worry, nobody go out and die like that. Okay. I wish all of you a good night, good meditation, and whoever goes, go with love and and go with peace, okay? These are the ones who are going away, okay? <laughs> yeah. Only people who goes away take, okay? You know we don't have enough people here. Mm. Yeah. We don't really have people. Yeah. That's why the house is full because whoever stay here has to work. If they don't work, they don't stay. <laughs> Therefore, the whole house is full of working people. <laughs> they make excuse to stay. I saw that. I saw that. Sometimes I went into the kitchen, <laughs> and then I saw a man, after he saw me going, he also go there, Can I do something? <laughs> momo, tong momo, si momo. <laughs> yeah. It's like that, huh? Yeah. The woman also make themselves look busy, you know? Say, like, Master, you're coming, look busy. Because <laughs> the house is small, you know? <laughs> The house is small, and the workers are pri- has priority. Yeah, but I treated them uh, many days already, right? How many weeks? Two weeks at least, no? Since uh, SMC already. Huh? One week. One week? Yeah. Only one week? No. <laughs> when did we come back here? Twenty-six. Huh? Twenty-five. Today is. Second. Third. Huh? Third. Third. Third of September. Mm. Mm. Let me count, huh? <laughs> oh, only eight days? It seems like forever to me. <laughs> We were also in SMC before, right? Yeah. I was talking to you one time or how many times? No, three times. Three times? Sometimes two times, sometimes three times. Mm-hmm. Because the other time he's sleeping, that's why. <laughs> he don't count. So then it's about, um, about 11, 12 days, something like that. Huh? My, it seems like forever to me. <laughs> seems to you very short, huh? That's why she knows only one week. Yeah, I thought it's many months already. <laughs> okay then. Truly, really? Yeah? yeah. Only one week here? Eight days? Eight days. Yeah. <laughs> Almost. Okay, huh? You went to the Yidu Sun okay? Meaning have a safe trip. Uh, have a safe trip. Okay, and then... Huh? What's up? Yeah. <笑>等一下再拿
我还没有吃饭呢。哇，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢，